The Boy in Striped Pajamas A Fable by John Boy Chapter 1 Bruno Makes a Discovery One afternoon, when Bruno came home from school, he was surprised to find Maria, the family's maid, who always kept her head bowed and never looked up from the carpet, standing in his bedroom, pulling all his belongings out of the wardrobe and packing them in four large wooden crates, even the things he'd hidden at the back that belonged to him and were nobody else's business. What are you doing? He asked in as polite a tone as he could muster, for although he wasn't happy to come home and find someone going through his possessions, his mother had always told him that he was to treat Maria respectfully and not just imitate the way father spoke to her. You take your hands off my things. Maria shook her head and pointed towards the staircase behind him, where Bruno's mother had just appeared. She was a tall woman with long red hair that she bundled into a sort of net. Behind her head, a Andy she was twisting her hands together nervously, as if there was something she didn't want to have to say or something she didn't want to have to believe. Mother, said Bruno, marching towards her, what's going on? Why is Maria going through my things? She's packing them, explained Mother. Packing them? he asked running quickly through the events of the previous few days, to consider whether he'd been particularly naughty, or had used those words out loud that he wasn't allowed to use, and was being sent away because of it. He couldn't think of anything though. In fact over the last few days he had behaved in a perfectly decent manner to everyone and couldn't remember causing any chaos at all. Why? he asked then. What have I done? Mother had walked into her own bedroom by then. But Lars, the butler, was in there, packing her things too. She sighed and threw her hands in the air in frustration before marching back to the staircase, followed by Bruno, who wasn't going to let the matter drop without an explanation. Mother, he insisted. What's going on? Are we moving? Come downstairs with me, said Mother, leading the way towards the large dining room where the Fury had been to dinner the week before. We'll talk down there.